Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today you join me at the Berry Hill Fisheries again. I love this place, it's brilliant. Um, we're doing something a little bit different. We're gonna try fishing a float ledger. Um, we've got these things called a Polaris float, which slides up the line. So we're gonna be fishing on cage feeders and we're gonna do a Polaris float versus a straight cage feeder and see which one has the best results. So this is what we've got on the float rod. And this is a thing called we've got a cage feeder and a twisted boom. We've got a cage feeder, a little bead and a twisted boom to keep that off. And we're fishing. We're fishing worm, corn, maggot. But this is the special thing. This is a float called a Polaris. That's a Polaris float, and what this is for is for float ledger, and so this will sit on the bottom, and then this will float up the line like that. Under tension, you just let your line go slack first of all, that will float up to the top, and then you just tighten down on it a little bit. And that is what our float ledger rig is today. Ground bait in the cage bean. Well, we're not fishing massively far out today. There's no need. We got some corn. We've got some red maggots, we've got some hemp and six mil pellets. And we've got some ground bait. And we've got a load of dendro beans. And our target today is bream, but anything really. <laughs> um, it's about midday. Uh, probably gonna fish till about seven, half past seven, so. Let's crack on, let's see how we do. Fingers crossed. We'll get into a few fish. See you in a bit. Well, it's typical British summer weather. I'm about to take shelter under the brony because it's pissing down. <sighs> what is it, June the 7th? 6th, 7th? Don't know. It is apparently going to get better later on. I can't say we've had a bite on the Polaris or the cage feeder yet. Hopefully a bit more bait going in, it should get a bit better later on. Great crested green. It just bobbed up in my swim. I wonder why we wasn't getting there he goes. I wonder why we wasn't getting any bites. Maybe that's got something to do with it. There he is. He's fishing in my swim. And I haven't had a bite since he turned up. Where's he gonna pop up? Everybody, this is Phil, and he's just looked into a oh, nice looking fish. I think it's a common. Apparently, it took it on the drop. You're right to net it. Yeah, when it calms down. Look at that one then, Paulie. 
yeah, I just put a new a new boilie on with a couple of strings on it. And before it hit the water, I thought it was gone. That's cracking looking fish, mate. Give up, uh, he's taking a gulp of air now, won't be long. They don't know when they're beat, do they? No. Well, that's an easy double, isn't it? It feels... Get his head up, mate. It's all yours. Can you put your foot on the toe of that for me? Lovely. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Twenty-two. Twenty-two, mate. Back up. What an absolute beautiful fish, mate. Congratulations. It's good, isn't it? Stunner. Believe it or not, the bream have actually started to come on the feed. I've got a fish on here and my rod's pulling round on the other side. This is a nice sized fish as well. Okay, well let's see if there's anything on here. Yes, we're from one to the next. Looks like we've got a shoulder bream in the swim. That's a good thing. Shame we lost that last one because that was a cracker. This one's staying down. It's a nice size fish though. Oh, look at that. Yes. Oh, that's a cracking bream. God, oh, that's a three pounder. It's a beauty, it's easy three pound. There you go, baby. I've got the bream feeding. Yeah, it's got a nice one about three pound. Worm. Yeah, finally got them going on the worm. Wow, oh, look at that. Okay, we've got them going. Well, seems like we're starting to get the bream to feed, guys, which is a good thing. And they're taking worms as well, which is brilliant. The Polaris is performing fantastically. It's on a par with the straight cage feeder at the moment, I'd say. Oh, these are a lovely stamp of bream. size it is.
Another bream. I finally got them going. Oh, that's got to be four pound, that one. Come out, baby. There we go. That's a cracking fish. Okay, darling. You ready? There you go, baby. Well, the fish just started to bite. Fills into a fish over there again. And I've just looked into a... It's not big. But it's a bream. It's the target species. Oh, let me get, let me get that on. Uh, probably took it when you was reeling it in. Man, can you? No, no. I'll oh, see pictures, but never. Well, Phil's just got a zander on a boilie that must have taken it on its way in. Unreal. It's your lucky day, sunshine. Well, I think I'd better go and do the lottery, yeah. haven't I? <laughs> I think you're right, mate. I'm nice. Can we get your rod? Are you alright? I think I can get them both. Yep. Got it. He's out of the way, you bastard. Okay, got him. Got him? Yeah. Oh, would you look at that? Bloody hand on a boilie. I'll definitely go and get yourself a Euro lottery later on, mate. <laughs> Don't it. Let's get me pliers on it. Look at that, it's taking a blooming boilie on the way in. You said it felt like it was going over a gravel bar. Yeah. That would be yeah. because that was this thing hanging yeah. on to it. Well, it was just like gravel, like you do something, yeah, I'm yeah. trying to find a bit of gravel. Yeah. That's how it felt. Okay. On a boilie. Unbelievable. Get your camera out again, mate, and get another photo of you. Because it's a white boy, isn't it? What do you what do you normally fish for them? How? On little tiny um, sort of like inch bits of mackerel pilchard and like do that, just under a float or do ya? Yeah. Look at that. These fins. How beautiful are those? Look at that face. Only yeah, only a killer face, can love it? that face. <laughs> I really don't know what it is. I must be part goose or something. But look. Hello. You know, trying to raid me, weren't you? Look them. Thousands of them. Oh, we got aerobatic bream. I don't think it's a big one. It's coming in like a paper bag. After its initial jump. taking pictures of these or getting to is because they are so slimy. I'm trying to have as little interaction with them as humanly possible. 
and they are just slime monsters. Maybe go. Run again. Oh, this is working well. That's two to one easily. But, uh, standard swim feeder. These fish don't fight very well. It's coming like paper bag. Bread bags. You just catch them, you kids. Bread bags. No, I stamp a fish though. It's another cracker. That's got to be nearly four pounds as well. Easy. I do like these golden ones. They are nice fish. What's that? You mean is it? Mm. Oh, cracking fish. It's got to be four pound. Go okay, mate. Look at that slime, you. This is the only bream session I'm actually going to do this year. <laughs> it was just to try out the Polaris. Another one on the lead. Looks like another bream. It's breathing it in. There's no fight in it. Fishing. The lead. Four to one. That's quite a ratio. He's a good quality fish. It's another one about two pounds, maybe. Look at that in there. Look at it. This is one of the only time I'm targeting bream this year. Look at that snot, man. Disgusting stuff. Ancient Chinese proverbs say, we're many geese, come much doodle. We've had loads and loads of bream, all around this kind of size, no one about three pounds. Loads of them. <laughs> Absolutely loads of them. Quality fish, man. Look at that. But I think that's enough for me catching snot balls for today. <laughs> and if they are nice size balls of snot. See you later, buddy. Well, we're still getting them. God knows how many we've had now. I just don't know. Lots. Everything is covered in slime. It's like we've been slimed by the slimy thingy. Ghostbusters. Another one. 
That's it. That's enough catching slimy monsters for the day. Oh, cracking session, mine. Loads and loads of fish. Pack that up in a minute. Get everything else packed up first. Hey. Blimey. <laughs> What a bream session. Everything is covered in slime, everything. It's gonna take me a week to de-slime everything. But anyway, um, uh, okay, so the Polaris versus the straight feeder. The Polaris outfished it four to one. So make what you want of that. That's just me using it. Four to one, brilliant piece of kit, I love it. Great for depth, can shot it down. I've been leaving it up a little bit and, and uh, like Ivan Marks used to say, just sit on your hands with it. Give it a second or so, make sure it buries and it stays, then strike and you're in every time. Um, yeah, so we must have had, I don't know, 30, 30 bream from two pound to, I reckon the biggest was probably about four. So yeah, cracking fish. Um, at the start of the day, really, it was Phil that was fishing over there with his 22 pound carp. And, and uh, on a white ball, he goes, he was retrieving it. Fantastic. Top bombing, Phil. Absolutely top bombing. Lovely to meet you, mate. Absolute pleasure. Real gentleman. It's nice to meet people like you on the bank, mate. So that's another one done. Um, thank you very much for watching. It's really appreciated. If you want to leave a like, that would be awesome. Even better to help my little channel out, leave a subscribe. There's going to be plenty more content coming. So thanks very much for watching everyone again. Tight lines, baggy trousers. See you in the next one. Bye.